Hey, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Cabinet, and today we are playing some more Civilization VI. It has been a while since we've actually played as Civilization VI, played the game, uh, because we've been doing a lot of AI Sim series, but I've decided I want to ha actually hop back into the game and play it again. We've not actually played Civ VI uh, since before I moved, and um, I I'm finally to that point where it's like I'm really, really wanting to play it, especially after the last couple AI series. I've just been like, man, I really want to play it again i'm tired of watching the ai make stupid decisions so today we are playing as rome a civilization that i've actually rome is one of my favorite civilizations i have to say if you're talking history in general um byzantium is probably my favorite all time like and i'm not just talking about uh civilizations in in civs i'm just talking in general i've just always loved you know the eastern roman empire however rome is probably a close second i've just always been fascinated by um rome and history and all that kind of stuff so today Today we're actually playing as Rome, who we've never played before in Civ 6. Um, and we're playing on the Europe map, uh, doing the AI Sim series. We actually, I kind of fell in love with this map, and so I really want to try it as Rome. Now, what's interesting about this one is this is the smaller one. Uh, so hopefully we're not going to have to deal with quite as grand of a Russia to deal with late game, but we'll still have to see. The other thing is I did enable a couple mods. I have the closer city mod enabled and I have the loyalty um, uh, capital mod enabled. Uh, and part of that is because we're going to have that whole uh, France, uh, Germany and um, uh, 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 Netherlands. They're all going to be spawning right on top of each other. So hopefully that's going to prevent them from city flipping we also have what 15 i think 15 civs and 15 city states so it's gonna be a little congested um but hey that's more entertaining i've always enjoyed more congested maps anyways now the downside is since everyone's rolling at immortal difficulty everyone's gonna start with what two or three cities so it's gonna be hard for me maybe to find room to grow i don't anticipate us actually winning this series i really don't because i just don't think that the game's going to be balanced at all in such a way that we're going to uh actually be able to survive here here's my thought i'm really feeling like We'll probably have our island, or sorry, the Italy Peninsula, we'll probably have that pretty okay, but we're only going to be able to put like one or two cities down there. And so we have both Greece's enabled plus Alexander. I just kind of feel like our our, our part of the world is going to get filled up pretty quickly. And, and so we're going to have a bunch of other guys around us who are going to be very, very strong. So that's kind of why we have the closer city mod enabled, so we can put some cities down um, close to ourselves if needed. Now, what is special about Rome? Number one, all cities start with an additional city center building. So initially, we start with a monument. All roads lead to Rome, so all cities we found start with a trading post. And if the trade route is in range of your capital, they also start with a road to it. So any trade route or any city near our capital is going to immediately have roads to it, which is nice. And you get plus one gold for passing through trade posts. And then we get the Legion unit, which replaces Swordsman, and the Bath, which essentially replaces Aqueducts, but it gives you um, more housing, and then it also gives you amenities, which is nice. So we're gonna start the game and oh god oof the italy peninsula is very tiny so yeah we'll throw it on rome cool and the question is do we want to go south or north with our warrior um we should probably go south first just to be careful we do have a couple stone near us we have olives as well huh are olives new i don't remember seeing olives before okay let's do scout uh, first and then we did start on the coast, but there are no fishes over here. Uh, we do have stone So we should probably grab some mining. We actually don't even have man. It's kind of a crap start to be honest There's no weed. There's no nothing to actually grow our city quicker. So ugh. we'll want to throw down farms probably pretty quickly We did get boost to sailing which is nice You're gonna move over there and so I was thinking of actually doing this on the larger map, but it was taking forever in between every turn, and I was not really interested in dealing with a gigantic uh, 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 Norway and a gigantic Russia late game. So that's why we're kind of doing the, um, the smaller version. Gosh, Italy is so tiny. <laughs> we do have fish down here. Now, the unfortunate part is... Can we throw a city down here? Oh, uh, one quick, one quick. Uh, uh, Bass. Let's look at it. That, no, dang it, Both. So it provides from an adjacent river, lake, oasis, or mountain. I think this is a coast, and we don't have mountains. So we can't actually put an aqua or a Both anywhere in this part of the, the, the world. I don't know why I'm calling it Both with the, you know, the awe for whatever reason. It's a Both. 
<laughs> Brian. Uh, whatever. So, we are about to pop out the scout. Let's send the scout north. There you go. We do have a river here, but we don't have a river down here. So the downside to this is this isn't going to be a particularly great... Valletta? Is that where Valletta really is? I thought Valletta was... I thought Valletta was in Spain. Maybe I'm thinking of Valencia, that's why. Alright, let's grab a builder next. Now let's grab a slinger. Let's grab a slinger first. Because if we have barbarians, we're going to need help to kill them. And so we want combat strength when fighting barbarians. And let's actually... Ooh. No. Yes. How is our production here? Our production is actually pretty okay. So yeah, let's go with the faith and money. Let's make some money. That'll be okay. So grab barbarian strength. Let's grab faith and gold. And we may go religious, but probably not. Hey, so we're the first one to meet them. So we actually have a, uh, uh, what is it? Plus two when constructing units. Yeah. Okay, cool. Not bad. This is military. What was your quest? Uh, quest. Trigger Eureka moment for masonry. Uh, okay. That one's pretty late, isn't it? No, build a quarry. All right. Well, we'll have that. Wait, do you build quarries over the stone? No. You build quarries over marble. Okay. Well, our second city is probably going to go up north anyways. Because we do want to spread in this direction. Thing. Matterhorn. To pay a yeah. tribute of respect so what does this one give us? Uh, one plus one culture from adjacent matter. tiles. Land combat Before units who move next to it. Gain plus three combat strength when fighting in hills. Ooh. Yeah. Heck yeah. I will take you. Uh, found a goody hut too. There you go. Go over there. And that gave us plus three error score. We got to remember, we actually have error scores again. I also had the eight ages of pace turned on uh, that mod as one of my favorite mods, just because it helps your borders grow so much quicker. And I feel like early on, especially they're really kind of slow, the border growth. All right. Um, I need you back up here, sir. You need to get back up here. And I no, 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 I did not want that. Ah, oh, crap. When you find yourself in a go home. away. Actually, probably going to throw a city right up here. Probably want it in the mountains. Probably need to go this way a little bit more. Um, astrology, we found a natural wonder, so we can knock that out pretty quickly, which could allow us to do an early Stonehenge. Are we going to go Faith? We don't have any mountains, so I'd have to say no. I think Faith is one of those things you can't really do on higher difficulties either, because the AI it gets such a big boost. So, the camp would be nice. One, two, three, four. The horses, eventually. The sailing, we do have a boost towards, and we could actually get fishing boats up here. I probably should go for olives. Plus one production, plus one gold, plus four amenities. Huh. Plus one production is not bad. So maybe we want to actually then try getting irrigation early on. The other thing is we could go for writing. Let's grab pottery then. And we will go ahead and start moving you up here. And let us, we can't purchase anyone yet. So instead, do we want an early settler? Or do we want another warrior? I should probably grab the builder first. Because we can get some really good production going. Uh, the slinger and warrior are going to be more than enough to take out the spearman. I really want that goody hut though. But let's keep going up here. I wish I would have moved my warrior up north quicker. Oh well. So let's get you going up here. The Now, the Spearman's probably going to come chase my dude. Hey, Alexander. Cool. Uh, we'd like to sample your hospitality, please. Don't murder me. <laughs> Be my friend. Uh, Alpine training. Hell yeah. Are we fighting in the hills? No. I was wondering if grabbing... Well, we could go up there and then get plus bonus. I'm actually probably going to move you right here. Get that Alpine training. Is it only for melee units? Land combat units gain plus three combat strength. It is melee combat strength. Which would improve you from five to eight. Which is not a terrible thing. Uh, what? Well, that's probably bad. That's probably bad. Uh, okay. It's not terrible. Ooh, this map is small, though. So, we got plus one error score. Cool. We're at five. We're getting close. We almost want a dark gauge to begin with. Oh, my God. And here it goes. They just plain don't like you. So cool. We have a warlike neighbor who hates us. Oh, no. He's bad. 
Uh, alright, so if he actually attacks me, how bad is it? I don't know. Can get there. We can always run away, so let's just shoot him. Let's do some early damage. We did 20 HP. I'm okay with that. Let's move you up here. We really want to come around this way. I want to, and I want to go this way too. Although I probably don't want to settle anywhere closer to Alexander because he's going to be a little scary. Ugh, that hurt. I think I'm going to move you back one just so I can move him up here. And then I should be able to kill him next turn, no problem. Hi. Do you hate me randomly for no reason now too? Probably. Wilhelmina doesn't hate me, so that's good. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Oof. We really need to get a second city down. Really need to get a second city down. Now, hopefully you come chase me. Yeah, that's what I wanted. You fell into my trap! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. That gives us a boost for archers, which is good, because we're going to need a lot of archers pretty quickly. Especially if Alexander is going to start declaring war on us. So we got our builder down. Um. I want growth. I think I actually may throw a farm down next. Let's grab the stone quick uh, first. And then we'll go from there. Settler. Cool. We are going to grow, but then we'll lose that population right away. So that's fine. Uh, you met German Empire. We got plus one arrow score. We got tech boosted archery. Cool, cool, cool. Now we got to come kill this warrior. That's the positive aspect of trade. Move you up there. We're going to probably heal you. Oh, we'll just promote you. Uh, versus land units. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I should move you up here, though, just so I can get the tech. But I don't. Oh, he actually left home. Okay. The warrior left. Uh, what is over here? Is that France? Dang. That sucks. Uh, early Empire. Craftsmanship. We'll probably get the craftsmanship here pretty quickly. So, boosted masonry. Cool, thank you. Hey, that means I should have gotten an extra. Yep, I did. Plus two production. So, three gives us plus two production with a barracks or stable. It doesn't really help me. Suzerain bonus. City center buildings can be bought with faith. All right, we did start, remember, with a early monument, so we're already getting good culture. Probably still way behind in everyone else, though. Hey, we can get more trade routes now. Nice. I need to build traders. And gain this plus one envoy. Cool. Uh, can't really get traders yet, because I got to build my second city. Uh, I think we are probably going to throw it right up here. Something like no right here might be really good. You. Although that's wine. Maybe like right there. Really, Germany? Really, Germany? I hate you really a whole lot right now, Germany. I think I do want to put him up in the mountains, though. Just so he gets the bonus. And then we'll probably bring that guy through. What's nice is enough units we can totally block off the pass to our city. I hope this isn't France. Oh. Uh, yeah, farm, please. That's going to give me a little more growth. And we are currently working on irrigation, but I'm going to go grab the other stone while we're here. And our production here should be pretty good. So one, two, three, probably. How are you working? One, two. Yeah, but that'll be a two, three here in a second. Uh, actually, mm, but two and two. Mm. Yeah, these are probably better. Two and two versus just the straight three. So I really didn't need to build the farm then. Oh well. It means I could have built those two. Ugh. Cool. Oh, it's Geneva. Ah, that's fine. So then, let's instead send you on Auto Explore. Bring you up there, get you Alpine training. Probably grab the Goody Hut. I could actually come and settle over here. But I think I probably need a city right here on this river first. And I think maybe right here, because it's just completely surrounded by mountains. Although, the, I wish this wonder was right here, so it was a little more protected. But we're trying to cut off in uh, basic... Uh, ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap. <laughs> Barbarian encampment. Ah, Geneva. Trader out. Plus two era score. Cool. The military tradition. Cool. All right, so we're going to get bombarded by barbarians here in just a minute. Come on. Home. Ooh, we can afford. Purchase. Uh, slinger. Slinger or warrior? Let's grab a slinger. And let's put him up here on this mountain. That should hopefully chase away any scouts. Hopefully we can get him there before the enemy comes. 
Yay, we got one trader unit. We can't go any trade routes with them yet. So, all right. Um, and we have another one over here. Dang, dude. Oh, no, I think this is the same guy. We will put you here. You want to come at me, bro? That's fine. We need to get you up here just to block off. Then I can grab you, bring you down here. Uh, we can trade with Akin. Which gives us plus three gold, or we go Geneva and get plus one science. I think the three gold in science for Geneva is going to be a little better for us. Also, it's going to create a road up north, which is going to go right through one of our cities, eventually. So, plus one air score, so we're almost going to be fine. I love how everyone hates me already. Why? Unknown reasons. I can tell you why, because we're playing on higher difficulty. That's the only reason. Dang it, get off my tile, dude. Farm a resource. Have I not farmed a resource? Oh, because I don't have farms on a resource. Durr. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Hi. Guess what? I can hurt you back. And I can do more damage to you than you can to me. Okay. We good there. We good there. Let's go build this. Boom. We got craftsmanship boosted. That's one turn now. We should be doing really good production here. Yep. 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 Yeah, I really should get irrigation pretty quick. So we're going to send our another city up there to Geneva. Cool. Yep. He hates me. I don't really care. I do what I want. <sighs> like I said, I don't anticipate us actually surviving this series, but we'll see. So we need to bring you down here because I need help destroy this dude. Okay, we can put you up there. That's good. So now we're protected. I'm going to bring you over here. You tell me to put a city right there. Why would I not put a city here instead? This is going to give me much better resources. Yeah, that does give me a lot better resources. Okay. You convinced me, game. So we'll put you over here. Actually, let's just have you heal where you're at for now. We don't need protection. Early Empire, not going to happen. We will grab military tradition. That gives us ancient and classical heavy units. Cool. Um, do we need to change policies at all? Production towards builders, production in cities, gold from trade routes. How many till we get 25? So we need another seven turns and we can get into Pantheon. Question is, how many great profits have already been produced? None, actually. Okay. Huh. All right, so we have a shot on that. So, I don't want to move you because I want to keep you for faith. Do we want classical era melee and a cavalry and range units? I'm not planning on producing units right now. So, I think we're just going to keep the combat strength, especially since we are about to go fight some barbarians. So, I think we're okay there. Unless, I think we grab a second builder or a granary gives us more food. I think we grab the builder because we can use them up here and then we'll go granary. Okay, that's fine. You need to make up north. You need to heal. You need to come down here and help kill this guy. I think we're good. You're just going to fortify up here, just in case someone brings units. Hi, France. I don't like you. France always hates me, so yeah. Yeah. Mostly because she's always mad at you early on for not having spies when you're like, it's turn three, how do I have spies? I'm being a little sarcastic, but sure. Okay, next turn. We're at 10 to 12. I really wanted a Dark Age to begin with. I like getting Dark Ages early on, because then you can get a, a Heroic Age pretty early after that. But it looks like... <laughs> basically, we would have had to do next to nothing, just kind of stand still. Oh, well, all right. Frankfurt is actually about to rebel. Are any of these guys at war with each other yet? No, they're all still peaceful. We'll have to see how that actually plays out. I swear to God, Germany, if you block me again, I'm going to be really pissy. I'm going to actually leave this open. You stay there. I, eh, eh. We'll go here. That's fine. The aid that city stays is to invite death. Oh, he doesn't like me because I'm training with the city state. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't he always want to be like 
the guy that does all the trading with city-states? I think so. Okay, so we will throw our city down here. Our trader... Ah, we're still gonna have to cross the water, though, which is a little unfortunate. Hi, I still need to get you over here, please. Freaking dudes, get out of my continent, man. My little freaking peninsula. I hate you all. The, man who the other thing we have to remember, to we're gonna have... Ah, uh, there's no Africa on this map. <laughs> I was like, we could always just go to Africa. Actually, maybe there's an Africa? There might be an Africa. We just might not be able to see it yet. Okay, uh, astrology. Astrology gives me Stonehenge and a shrine. Once again, we don't have mountains, at least in Rome. So that's where I'm kind of like, eh. We could go for fishing boats, and actually getting an early galley might be really good for us. So I think I'm okay with this. You are going to throw a city down. A city's placed within 2,000 natural wonder. Huh. All right, I didn't know that was actually give you arrow, but there you go. Okay, so we're going to be in a golden age. Congratulations, guys. Uh... Right? No. No. No, we just guaranteed a normal age. We're working on a golden age. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. Uh, We are building a builder, so let's grab a greenery here then. For now. You're going to come murder this guy. Because I'm assuming the scout's probably not going to kill it. Macedon just declared war on Preslev. So, goodbye city-state. It was nice while you lasted. Uh, Here's the unfortunate part about this. I can't attack with both of you. I would like to actually bait him out. I just don't think we can. Hmm. So I would like to go grab irrigation. We're going to grab you. Then we're going to send you up here, grab the rice, and grab the wine. Yeah, Roman wine, man. Uh. We could grab hanging gardens. I doubt we're going to be able to finish it. So instead, let's grab the housing. Let us do an okay down there. That's fine. Bravery. At least no one's going to be near Valetta to kill him. So we can grab afraid. production towards... Uh, yeah, I don't care about either of those. You are at full HP. So let's actually bring you out over here, because I want to see what's going on over in that direction. We are going to then grab... Probably state workforce. Could go for the war Oracle. Don't think I care. I think let's grab that. And just build any specialty district. Unfortunately, we can't even build specialty districts yet. Go to at least six. You're going to be at three, four, five. I don't think we can get that one. Find a Pantheon. Actually, we're going to be able to find a Pantheon, so we might as well knock out Mysticism. I'm assuming Mysticism leads to other things that eventually we're going to have to get. Get Theology. Eh, we might... Eh. Well, okay, here's the thing. Are we going to build the Government Plaza early on? No. Will we use the Governor? Actually, yeah. Are we going to build a district? We can't even build districts yet. So I think we just need to knock this one out. Or we could just go halfway on it and then leave it. So we can invade anyone. So sure, let's bring you up here. That's fine. Get you here on the olives. Give me olives. Thank you. And then I need you to come up here. You're going to come over in that direction. Next turn. Hey, Yadwig. Okay, honored to meet you. Yadwiga, I think. And then my buddy. Hello, sir. Uh, Philip. Yeah, I was like, Peter? No, Peter's Russia. Question is... I don't think either of them should hate me. Uh, she won't like me... Well, I will be kind of doing Faith, because I'm doing... I, I think she only likes you if you're the same religion, I think. In Spain, I don't remember what his triggers are. I still can't move you. Dang it. Uh, you've met Polish, you met Philip. Got plus one era, plus one era. So we're at 15 and 24, so we're actually getting close. We sent. Hey! Germany's trading with me! Germany likes me! Okay! I'm really sad now that your uh, cities are rebelling. Let's move you over here. I think I probably want to throw a second city down over in this corner. Most likely. And then that's going to block off my Italian. It, my Italian peninsula. Okay, we'll move you here. You just have a spearman. We'll attack, wait, attack, wait, kind of thing. We could also come down over here. Yeah, like right here. That might not be a bad idea either. I don't know loyalty if that's going to be an issue. We should really probably start working on another settler. Honestly. Yeah, I kind of feel like we should start working on another settler. So, 
We're gonna attack you, then we're gonna start resting. We could actually switch you. Eh, I don't think you'll be able to kill him though. Let's get you over here, let's get you over here. Hmm, okay. We could put a city right here. We do have Barbarian over there. He's just a regular warrior, he'll be fine. And remember, actually, what? Oh, because we're not in the hills. I was like, you should be at plus eight. Dang it, what? Uh, let's just put you on alert. And next turn. You know what? I should actually move you back home. Especially since I have that uh, dude over there. In case a barbarian encampment spawns like right here. Actually, I think we just heard a barbarian encampment spawn. Vessel is large. Okay, sailing's good. Move you back into the capital. Let's rest one turn. Unfortunately, he moved into the hills. I will go ahead and shoot him, though. And then he'll attack me, but he'll take quite a bit of damage, and then I should be able to kill him. Okay, so let's grab animal husbandry right away. So we can get these horses. Still want to go grab the rice first. And maybe the marble second? I don't know, actually. That's a tough one. Hey, we got a pantheon. Okay. Desert tiles, faith from adjacent rainforest, don't care about. Plus one amenities if they have a holy site, eh. Production, nah. Culture from pastures, eh. Food from camps, eh. Faith from quarries, eh. Faith over mines and luxury, eh. Production over mines over strategic resources. That actually might be where we're gonna go. Or plus one food from wines, incense. So we can get plus one food. God of War now, increase healing production without especially district towards districts, but that's a one time thing. Okay, so if we did the plus one production, we'd get one, two production immediately. Was it rice or was it just olives and wines? Olives, wines. Hmm. And there is tobacco over there, too. And there is the olives down there. That food one might be better. Is it just over strategic? Oh, wait, these are bonus resources. Oh, strategic resources. Gotcha. So it's going to be like iron and crap like that. So no. Yeah, we have to then grab the food one. Because I just don't know if we're going to have strategic resources. I mean, surely we will, but okay. That's fine. We'll find the Pantheon. Cool. So we're working on earning a great profit. Uh, how do we actually get a great profit again? We have to get uh, great profit points, which we don't have because we don't have a special. Uh, we don't have a holy site, a holy district. So yeah, uh, we were resting this turn, correct? You were moving back. So you guys should be growing a little bit quicker. We'll see if it actually already triggered. Unmet city state's been defeated. Probably press love. Uh, we got plus one era score, and we got civic boosted for mysticism. Okay. So, let's see if these change from nine and three, uh, or rather eight and two to something a little bit quicker. No, so they must have already triggered. Okay, that's fine. So, we're gonna shoot you, and then you're gonna suicide into me. And I'll be okay with that. Alright, not bad. Get you into the capital. And I think let's just do one more turn and then we'll probably call this an episode. You need to get over here. I can't because Germany! <laughs> ah! Freaking Germany, man. Get out of my land. Ah. Oh, yeah, plus one food over it. So yeah, of course, duh. Of course you didn't change because we're not actually working the tile yet. Actually, no, we should still get plus one. I don't think the Pantheon requires... Yeah, it's just plus one food. Oh, no, it's because it's this. And yeah, we weren't working it. Two, two versus a three, one. Hmm. Still think it's fine. Let's still work you first. Okay, uh, you are almost dead. So let's just start healing you. I'm not going to worry about taking you back home. We got tech boosted for bronze working. Cool. We're going to go hit you one more time. Cool. You can get promoted. I think you just kill him next turn. And then our slinger, let's go ahead. Let's bring you to the forefront of the war. Well, in case there is a war. I think our next city is probably going to be either right up here or potentially right over here. Um, I could I could see either one. 
like right here because that would give us a line I do want to explore a little more over here. We would get tobacco. I just wonder if there's anything else worth anything over here. We can actually see Alexander now, which is a little scary. Um, we're also almost to the Warsaw, so that's a little scary too. Alexander's the only one who currently hates me, which is another thing to note. Hey, let's send delegations. How much gold do we have? 192. We have plenty of gold. Okay. We could actually probably buy someone. Then gold. And really I'm just doing this okay good so we're friends do I want to be friends with you if I'm friends with you Wilhelm Mina and France are probably not gonna let actually France might be okay yeah he won't be my friends will you be my friend France France will be my friend wow France is my friend Okay, so we're friends with two people. That's okay. I think we're off to a great start. Uh, let's take a quick look at score and see how far behind we are. We are not in last place, so that's good. And we're actually not that far behind the lead, so I'm okay with that. As for actual technologies, he has six compared to my four, so we're not that far behind in tech either. So I'm feeling pretty okay at this point. Um, we are playing on the second to highest difficulty, so I do imagine they're going to take a... The, like, I mean, look, they already have three cities. We have two. We are should be working on three here in a second. But I still feel we are following a little bit behind, and that's what's going to happen. Is they're slowly just going to start taking um, a bigger and bigger lead. Now, what's interesting is because they're so close to each other, we may end up seeing them be hindered by that. Like, they may start losing cities to free cities, and then that'll actually allow us to catch up as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully they'll get to Dark Ages, like specifically Alexander. I'm kind of intrigued to see how uh, the whole Greek thing worked out over here, but we will figure that out in a future episode. For now, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, come in, show your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.